that's someone else who's going to be very excited this morning, though. Feeling the love. Feeling the love, undoubtedly. Huge political upset. The Conservatives lost the North Shropshire seat that they had held for nearly 200 years to the Liberal Democrats. It is yet another blow to Boris Johnson's leadership for the Lib Dems. It is an unexpected victory. We're joined now by Lib Dem leader Sir Ed Davey. Good morning to you. Thanks very much for joining Ooh. us. I know that you're joining us in, in isolation at the moment. Uh, how are you feeling on both fronts? Well, I'm a bit groggy on the health side, but uh, the sun is shining uh, on the politics side. I, I think this is a watershed moment in British politics because it was such a spectacular result. I'm just delighted, of course, for Helen Morgan, the new Liberal Democrat MP for North Shropshire. But I'm proud of our party and our campaigners. And I hope we've brought some hope to the whole nation in what's, what's a tough time for everybody. And I think this year we've shown that Liberal Democrats can beat the Conservatives in their heartland. We've taken two of their safest seats this year. So I think we go into the festive season uh, pretty merry. Although, I mean, you know, there are those people saying, well, it's just a, a protest vote. It's not actually a vote for you. It's just people sort of, you know, putting a stake in the ground about how they feel about the government at the moment. How much do you think this could translate? Well, I went there uh, five times, had 10 days talking to people, and there's no doubt there was a protest against Boris Johnson. I'm not going to deny that. But there was a massive positive vote for the Liberal Democrats for what we were saying on the health service, on the cost of living, on community issues that our candidate Helen Morgan was, was taking up. And if you add this victory to our victory in true blue Buckinghamshire, in Chesham and Amersham, early this year, the blue wall idea that I've been talking about, that we are taking the fight to the Tories in their heartlands, I think is, is proven. Uh, we've been selecting amazing candidates in seats we hope to take off the Tories at the next general election, seats from Guildford to Eastbourne, from Cheltenham to Wimbledon. Uh, and I think the victories in uh, the two by-elections this year show that we can do that. We, we can beat the Conservatives. And you know what's really interesting, if you look at the figures, there's no way that we can get Boris Johnson out of Downing Street and defeat the Conservatives unless Liberal Democrats are beating Conservative MPs in their heartland. Mm. It seems as though Boris Johnson's doing quite a good job of beating himself at the moment, uh, Ed Dave, with his leadership. Real questions over his leadership, as your candidate who won yesterday made it very clear the lack of leadership coming from Boris Johnson is one of the reasons that this has happened. Let's have a listen to what she had to say. Our country is crying out for leadership. Mr Johnson, you are no leader. Many of your predecessors took office because they believed in a sense of national service, that they were duty-bound to do what they believed is right for our country, to represent all of us, even if we disagreed with them. Mr Johnson, this is not how you operate. I mean, she went on to say the party is over as well. Uh, will Boris Johnson react to this, do you think? Because one of the questions about Boris Johnson is whether he is sort of impervious to what's going on around him, because he just... Is he just going to carry on blustering on and making more and more mistakes? Or are we going to see a new, refined Boris Johnson that gets that laser focus? Because, of course, as you know, he's very well known for winning elections. It was one of the reasons he stormed to the leadership victory and then they had such a successful uh, election two years ago. Well, I'd suggest to Conservative MPs, my advice to them is they should listen to the voters in North Shropshire and Cheshire and Amersham. Um, the conversations I had suggested that lifelong Conservatives don't regard the Prime Minister as a decent person. They don't think he's got the moral authority to lead us at this moment, this very difficult time. Uh, they're fed up with being taken for granted with one rule for Boris Johnson and his friends and another rule for the rest of us. I think North Shropshire and the voters have sent a, a letter of no confidence in Boris Johnson to Conservative Party. And it's up to Conservative MPs to decide whether they take any notice. I hope for the sake of the country they do, uh, I've long thought that Boris Johnson's not fit to be the Prime Minister of our great country. And I think as people have seen his behaviour week in, week out, month in, month out, I think many more people, millions of people who previously trusted Boris Johnson no longer have any faith in him. Do you think he'll be Prime Minister or be leader of the party as we come to the next general election? Well, that's up to Conservative MPs. It's not up to, to me. Um, I, I don't think he's uh, worthy of of being the Prime Minister of our great country. Uh, I don't think he behaves uh, according to traditional British values. And I think what he's doing to our public services, the way he's managing the economy, the fact that he has no real moral authority to give health messages, public health messages, during a great public health crisis, 
because he keeps breaking the rules and allowing his friends to break the rules and get away with it. He doesn't have that that gravitas, that 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 mm. quality that we need in a in a national leader. So you know, free advice to the Conservative MPs, I'd get rid of them. On Helen Morgan, your winning candidate, no doubt, you know, lots of warm words of congratulation this morning. Have you had to have a word with her as well, though, about what she's tweeting? We know that uh, she had to apologise and delete a tweet after a Nazi comparison. She directed a tweet towards Priti Patel saying, please tear up your copy of Gorba's manual. It's most unbecoming of one of the great offices of state. Uh, as I say, she did ap uh, apologise and delete it. Um, but what have you had to say to her about that? She apologised profusely and, and got on with campaigning. And I've been really impressed by her. If you talk to people across North Shropshire, they were really impressed by her campaign. They liked the fact that she was a local person who really understood the issues, the, the problems they were having with ambulance services, for example. They got extraordinarily long waits for ambulances there. Mm -hmm. And the fact that Helen was taking that up, that understood them, that, that was what was really important for voters. OK, we're going to leave it there, Ed Davey, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to get out of isolation and celebrate with some of your party members uh, very shortly. Have a good Christmas. Thanks for joining Thank us. Thank you.